Hi, my name is Cindy McGirt. I am currently a nursing student in the RN program here at WOSC. In the name of Jesus, I will be graduating the program in May of this year, God willing. This journey has been a lot longer than just four semesters. I am the ninth out of 10 kids. My father only went into the third grade and my mom never went to school. I am the only one out of my siblings that has graduated high school. My oldest sister had to drop out of school in the seventh grade. She later went on to get her GED and became an LPN in 2008. So that has always been very inspiring to me. I got pregnant at 17 years old my junior year in high school. My mom and my sister said it would be hard, but graduating high school was not an option for me. I walked across the stage and received my high school diploma when my daughter was five months old. I was in a very abusive relationship with my ex-husband. The morning I was supposed to come to WOSC to enroll with some of my girlfriends, my ex-husband told me that if I went with them, he was going to leave the house and leave our daughter there by herself. I knew he would really do that, so I told my friends that my daughter was sick, so I wasn't going to be able to make it. A couple of years went by and I still did not go to school. One day when I went to the store, my cousin was there working. She asked me what I was up to and I just casually mentioned I was thinking about enrolling in college. She very confidently said that I would not go. She said that it has already been a few years since I've been out of high school, so I was never going to go. She said the ones who don't go to college within the first year of graduating never go at all. I just laughed and said okay and walked out. But that comment stuck with me and it ignited something that has always been there. 2011 rolled along and I decided it was time, so I enrolled at WOSC. It was a struggle between being a young mom, trying to do school, and still acting like my life was fine, all the while being in this very abusive relationship. In 2012, after nine and a half years of being in that relationship, I finally left my ex-husband for the last time. Life seemed to be getting better. In May 2014, I was accepted into the RN program. My mom was super proud of me. She told me that anything was possible with God. Then June 2014, my mom passed away. I no longer knew how to do life without her and without her prayers. My mother was disabled, so I lived with her and took care of her the last 10 years of her life. So without her, nothing made sense anymore. August 2014, I started the RN program, but I no longer had the desire or the willpower to do school. In my second semester, after taking my final, I was told I didn't pass the program. I was really done with school after that. I wanted nothing more to do with furthering my education. But in reality, it was the failure that I was afraid of. Years later, I decided to give school one more try. So in 2019, I started the LPN program. I graduated in January of 2020 and got my LPN license in March of 2020. Apparently, I didn't get enough of school because in 2022, I decided to do it again. I was accepted into the RN program once again. I came back to school for my mom. Being accepted into the RN program back in 2014 was the last thing my mom was proud of. So now I want to finish this for her. But I am also doing this for my kids. I am a single parent to two amazing children. I have an 18 year old beautiful free spirit daughter and a very handsome, lovable four month old son. I want my kids, especially my daughter, to know it's never too late to finish or even to start a dream.